Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about the ISD1820 Arduino voice recorder. This is a voice recorder that can record up to 20 seconds, either directly with playing this button and recording. I'm playing now. Testing, Robojax, testing. Or you can send a command from the screen, like P for play. I'm now here, and now let me record. I'm pressing R. Robojax testing for YouTube. So, let me play. Robojax testing for YouTube. So you can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. So the manual for this will be provided if you follow the link in the description so you know better this one and also the data sheet for this chip will be provided in case you want to modify this module so this is the manual for the device and this will be provided the, mm, the person who has written this uh, has not provided detailed information on how to program it but they just provided how to use it so let's have a look at the data sheet this is ISD 1800 for all the 1800 series ours is 1820 so here it says 6 to eight, uh, 16 the 1820 has not been mentioned but this is very similar and the 20 refers to the time of 20 seconds of current the idle standby current is very low 0.5 microampere which is great it can, uh, a battery can last years so that's one uh, good thing you can uh, record hundred thousand times typical and it says it can work with single three volts uh, power supply this is a block diagram uh, how it works all the pens from the chip not the module so as you can see the records and supply voltage all of them are between 2.7 to 4.5 so it should be within 3.3 volts but we should not go up to 5 current that it uh, consumes is 30 milliampere when operating so that's very important 30 milliampere it needs at this is at 4.5 so it might be a little lower at 3.3 but keep in mind that 3 30 milliampere is needed and here is a typical schematic diagram this is a diagram that uh, this device is built on so we have three buttons here play low play edge and then record the three buttons that we have here is a speaker and this is the electrolyte condenser microphone and the other elements are just accessories to facilitate the biasing of the device input to Arduino cannot be connected because when we connect the device so when we connect the device with a 3 volt 3.3 volts the output of Arduino is as if we are getting 5 volts because the output of Arduino is always 5 volts based on that logic we need to divide the voltage and get somewhere in between so the total if we get 5 kilo ohm you can see 1.8 and 3.3 is approximately 5 so 3.3 is around 3.3 volts that is not critical but close enough and then 1.8 left and 3.3 volts will be here so what we do is now we put one cap resistor about 3.3 kilo ohm so this resistor should be 30% uh, or more twice as large as this so that will also work fine if you don't have exact value you can put proportionally different value so the um, the 3.3 reflects 3.3 volts and then this will 1.7 so I put 1.8 so the sum of these will be 5000 or 5 kilo so this will be connected to pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5 so all of the pins that you're connecting you put a resistor like that so this will shift the lever from 5 volts will make 3.3 volts high so when the when this pen that is connected to Arduino and it's low so this will be low when the this pen let's say goes high when this point get, gets high 
then we get 3.3 volts so the device will work then I have done it here the same way so so here this side is connected to the ground I've connected it to the ground so this wire is connected to the ground this is 3.3 .3, and here I have around 2.2 .2. so this is connected to pin 2 pin 2 comes here to this resistor and then from the resistor it goes to another resistor to the ground and from ground up the first resistor is connected to the uh, module so the same way you can do the other one for the other pins so here I've created this diagram here to explain it so when you connect one resistor let's say 1.8 kilo ohm and in series with another resistor let's say 3.3 .3 kilo ohm if you connect it to 5 volts and this side is connected to the ground then you will get here approximately 3.3 .3 volts the same thing from uh, Arduino let's remove this battery so this will be the pin that is coming from Arduino so pin 2 is coming here and goes through these resistors and then we put this to the record to the record pin of the module which will have a 3.3 .3 volts level so this is shift level logic shift level same thing you can do another one for PE another one for PL so you can do the same thing for feed through or FT one more of those so you need this one otherwise you might damage the module if if you have the shift level converter the job of this one is to get 5 volts on one side with a ground and 3.3 .3 volts on the other side on the ground and then you have 8 inputs so you can input 5 volts and you can get uh, so you can input 5 volts and get 3.3 .3 volts or you can enter 3.3 .3, get 5 so this is bidirectional you can get this module if you need it if you have multiple this has 8 inputs so that will convert eight different of this combination but because I needed only two or three so I just put these resistors which work fine this is the module it has a connector that you can disconnect and connect the speaker half a watt 0.5 watt speaker very low quality and uh, the module has a condenser microphone here and this is the main chip that is uh, based on ISD 1800 series so this has a different variations that can record which I'm going to show you the data sheet we have here the VCC which will be connected to 3.3 .3 volts and this is a ground and uh, feed through so if this pin is high the device will uh, that whatever comes from microphone will pass it through not record it and then play L and play E and then record so these will be explained later but on this side on this side of the same jumper here here it says PE so if you set this connected in here it will continuously play the audio so the same thing if PE is high so this will continuously play this is the speaker you connect the speakers here and there are these wires so we are connecting this VCC to 3.3 .3 volts on Arduino so you will have 3.3 .3 volts here so you have 3.3 .3 volts this orange is will be connected here at um, and here and then this will go to the ground to one of the ground on So this, so the the ground will be connected to the ground. This is connected now. Uh, if you, this is record. So if you press this, if you put it at high, start uh, start recording. PE mean uh, play an edge. So if if this is the edge is shifting from low to high, it will start recording. So if I touch that now with a screwdriver it will play so this needs to be high continuously so this PE is the same as this one you just press it once once make it high it will play but PL is the same as this button is such that you have to hold it if you press 
and release, the playback will stop. So the length of the module is 42.5 mm. The width is 38.3 mm. The depth So the depth is 11.7 mm. Let me explain now the code here. So we are defining some pins. So instead of these numbers, we will use these variables. These are constants. So we define pin 2 for the record, pin 3 for the play E, uh, edge trigger, and then pin 4 for play L. That's the, the pin that uh, it just, as long as it's high, it will play, otherwise no. And this will just trigger as long as once it goes high it will just play so these are the comments so this these are the important parts that we need and this line here we are setting feed through as a pen 5 so these are accordingly from left to right on the module that just go like that and then we set the three times here that we need so play time this is allowing the time enough this is allowing time this is the time that allows the uh, audio to be played so i'm assuming up to five seconds so you can change it accordingly record time i'm uh, allocating three seconds so you can change it accordingly and then the play l time is uh, 900 millisecond so we are just testing that as well and then inside the setup we set the record play l play e uh, feed through all of them as an output so four pin will be used this is pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5 and then uh, we set the 9600 baud the serial monitor that prints this text for us constantly and then inside the loop which starts from there and ends here these are the things that happen we say while serial is available or it's serial available is bigger than zero which means true so if some some information is entered in this serial monitor here this makes uh, true and then all the thing that is happening inside the while loop will occur so first what we do is we get the serial read whatever the user has entered we will read it and convert it to character and then store it in the in car variable if in car is equal small p or lowercase p or this means or the two pipe side by side in car is equal capital p so small or capital lowercase or uppercase we check if any of these happen we say play e should be high just momentarily set it high set it for 50 millisecond high and then low so this is as if we just press it very quickly and then uh, we print this text and then the play time we wait for the time the maximum time that we think so it can allow the program to play and then we after that we print this playback end it and then we break from the loop then else if if the p is not there if the character that user entered is r or capital r then we say record high this will set the record pin which is pin 2 as a high so then the record will be started we say the record started and then wait for the record expected record time that we are allowing and then we set the record to low so the record will stop so record starts here and then stops here and then we also notify the user by printing this text on the screen the third condition is l or capital l this is for the playback l condition where the you have to keep it on because we cannot do in the serial monitor keep on i'm just trying to demonstrate it here so we set the playback high and then we say playback started and this is the time that we are keeping it on so if we say 900 millisecond this is uh, about 900 millisecond it will be on and then we low low make low the pen l so this is as if we press the uh, play l for that 900 millisecond and let go and release the button and then this will notify that the play l ended this is just printing the monitor exit to show us the while loop has exited and this is the main loop that prints this text we wait 500 milliseconds so this is just arbitrary value there is no specific need i just made it that uh, 500 milliseconds will be enough so you can 
uh, play, stop and do things, but you can change it as you wish. So I'm typing here the P and pressing enter. So it just prints, it says playback started and playback stops. When it's ended, it says playback ended. R in here and pressing enter. Testing for RoboJax testing. So record started and record stopped. Now let me play it. This time I'm going to put capital P and. Testing for RoboJax testing. So that was playback started and now playback stopped. You see that delay is because we set that for five seconds so and the recording was three seconds. So it waits up to five seconds until the recording finishes. So this is the uh, play L. Testing for you see when I release my hand, testing. it just stops. To do that, we just type L, capital L or lower L. I'm just typing L. You see, it just said T and stopped again. I'm, I typed L here and enter. So play started. So that the reason that you see portion of that is that we set, we set it for 900 milliseconds. So we set that time here for 900 milliseconds and we say as if we press it for 900 milliseconds and then exit. So if you are creating another application or something to record audio, so you can put your condition under certain condition, you say if something is bigger than that or if a sensor detects an object or something, then you can say digital write rec high. So this will start recording. To stop it, just say record stop. And the same way if you want to play the sound if some event were triggered then instead of if p is something you can say if character is equal p you can say if um, motion sensor detects something so play e is equal high and it will start playing the audio and with, the, with this you cannot stop it but if you want to just start and then stop it use play l so this will start and keep it high uh, like that so if you want to stop it just say play low it will stop